everyone, this is Game Master Mike, and I am going to do a discussion video about what features is the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One going to have. Now, everyone has seen a picture of what the Xbox One is going to look like. Well, it's going to be like an entertainment system. It also is going to have a connect feature, which is very nice. But first, let's discuss of um, what the PlayStation 4 is going to have. Now, um, nobody knows what the system is going to look like until the E3. But um, you can tell that, that there are some pictures of the PlayStation 4 controller. You can tell it looks the same as the PS1, 2, and 3. I got the PS3 controller as a detail, and it looks like it's going to be the same. It's going to have the PS3 controller look alike with a screen right in the center. Now, the screen is going to be touch sensitive. It's going to light up and show some features, and I believe it's touch active, which is neat. But um, what is the system going to have? Is it going to be backwards compatible with PlayStation 3, 2, and 1 games? Or is it going to have downloadable content? Or so what? Now, the rumor is that is the PS3 and Xbox One going to play used games or not? Well, um, it is tough to tell because um, it's going to make some gaming companies to go bankrupt like GameStop because... Um, that's where I buy most of my used games at GameStop. So what the hell? So um looks like I doubt that it, if it's going to play used games or not, but uh we shall see. Now um the PlayStation 4 probably is going to have you can probably watch TV or have a built-in DVR or any kind, but um the only thing that it doesn't do is probably um, acts like a robot, gets up and gets your coffee or some shit like that. But uh, the designs, that's all I can tell you. Um, there's going to be more info about the E3. Let's hope it's not a failure or too expensive. Let's hope the games aren't above $60, which I doubt if that's going to happen, but... Uh, yeah, we shall see about that. Next off is um, the Xbox One. Is the controller going to have the screen or it looks the same like this Xbox 360 controller? As I'm showing here. Now, it looks like Microsoft it has not given up with the Kinect feature yet. They still want to do the body motion, which... I do not blame them, since I only own two Kinect games currently. And so, um, basically uh, what the games are is probably going to be a motion feature, which I don't have a huge problem with that. I really like to uh, move around. Hopefully there will be more dancing games to it, but here's my major concern. Is the Xbox One also going to play game used games? Or is it just going to be a DLC only games like where you can only download games except for buying a um, real digital copy? But um, there's going to be more info at this year's E3 which I'm excited to watch about. Like, um, is the controller going to have a screen in the middle of it? Or, um, by the way, I really do like the design of the Xbox One. It is a brilliant, it's a whole entertainment system. I re really do like what's going to be on it. Like, a TV, you can do whatever you want with it. Any kind of features. I really do love that. And, um... You can basically um, use your hands or your feet on um, what you want to do with the Connect feature. But here's my um, concern, other concern about the Xbox One. 
is it going to be backwards compatible with Xbox 360 games? Or, like I said before, is it going to play used games? Well, um, we shall find out. But hopefully, it will at least play used games. But not backwards compatible, which everyone is expecting that it's not going to be backwards compatible just like the PlayStation 4. Well, um... Hopefully those um, have some great titles of what games is going to come out and um, other DLC, some good ones like some remakes of the past Xbox games or PS4 games on the PS4, because that will be brilliant to see some of your favorite games on high definition, like I really do like, which is a plus for me, and um... Also, what wraps it up, you know, um, everyone, um, since the Wii U is out, everyone knows what features the Wii U has, which I'm very impressed. But, um, will uh, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One is going to copy the Wii U? That's everyone's going to ask. Like, is it going to have the same features and everything like the Wii U? Everyone knows that the PlayStation 4 is going to have a screen just like the Wii U. A small screen where you can touch things. Make it look like a mini DS on a controller. <laughs> like, um, how the hell do you do this? The screen is too damn tiny. Well, um... You shall find out at this year's E3. If you think that um, there's going to be more features on the PS4 and Xbox 360 like it's going to have, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, thank you for watching this video on um, what features does a PlayStation 4 and Xbox One have. And um, glad you watched this video.